I want to start by saying Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Ba Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom on to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Ba Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba Hashem in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or other speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off falling after false gods and false idols, not following the law, statute, and commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity under our oppressors. But, our, but through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book. To be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down. To be able to wake up the tabernacle of David and the believers and the elect and the set times. And to be able to give a warning through the servants, the prophets, that that able to have the truth and to be able to have the understanding. Okay, to be able to make it plain upon tables when the Lord is able to what quicken your spirit to be able to get the understanding. Okay, to be able to put... Um, the fear in your heart, the fear of Yahabah Shemar Shai, not the fear of man, but the fear of what Yahabah Shemar Shai can do, because the Lord controls both good and evil. Okay, and He set forth the wicked Esau Edom for a trap and a snare, and our people, um, the two thirds, are going to follow the ways of Esau Edom. They're going to bow down to the beast system. Okay, but the Lord has reserved seven thousand. Men and the multitude of believers that are going to be able to get this understanding and are going to be able to be saved before the said destruction. Okay, and so this lesson is going to be centered around um, this preset right here. It says, This is in the apographer, Ecclesiastes 40, better known as Sirach 40 and 26. Riches and strength lift up thy heart, but the fear of the Lord, Yaharashai, is above them both. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and it needeth not to seek help. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden and cover him above all glory. Okay, so let's, let's go into the beginning part of it, right? Riches and strength lift up thy heart. Okay, going into the carnality. Um, you know, this lesson, um, you know, was inspired, you know, of course, through the Holy Spirit, but there was a um, this article that came out, right? And I'm not going to touch on the article. Just, you know, I just wanted to read the, the header, right? And what it says is, slack you. So billion dollar bank demands customers prove withdrawals are valid. Warns cash can be refused at will. Okay. So I also did a lesson, um, uh, you know, a couple days ago or a week ago, right on JP Morgan. Uh, JP Morgan was freezing um, people's bank accounts because of, um, you know, because of their beliefs, because of their religious beliefs, okay, and all the people that are boasting in their, you know, um, you know, their jobs and, and, and you know, riches of this world and, and their, um, you know, their follyism, okay, um, you know, things of this world, okay, they're gonna find out when they're when a the bank account is frozen, um, because they didn't comply to the certain mandates or because they know that they're a Hebrew Israelite. Because the Lord said, First uh, Peter four and seventeen, that He the judgment will begin at the house of Israel. Those that are of the circumcision that know they're they're Hebrew Israelites. Okay, it doesn't matter if um, you have a five hundred one c three because the because uh, Esau Edom has a thing called the King Alfred Plan or the Rex City Four, where they're going to be coming after Jake no matter um, if they have a contract with Esau Edom or not. Okay, because that's why it says um, Sirach twelve and ten: Never trust that enemy, for like iron is rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, and also Sirach 14 and 7, if he doeth good, he doeth him willingly, and at last he would declare his wickedness. Okay, and how is he going to declare his wickedness? By cutting off the certain resources that you once had. Okay, the riches of this world, because the true riches is the wisdom and knowledge and stability that we're going to need um, to have in that time. That is the true treasure. Okay, so when this happens, you know, to all people, because they're starting with just 
a certain, uh, you know, certain places and things like that. But they're starting to, gra you know, through gradualism, start to, um, you know, put this in, put this in play to uh, push forth fear. But the Lord has, again, uh, put forth the elect, the, the hopeful elect that are not going to bow down to the image of Baal. They're not afraid of when these things, these type of things happen because the Lord said that we would have food, water, and shelter. Isaiah 65 and 13 is one of those chapters, okay? And that day, while the rest of the people are going to be, what, starving, okay? So let me read this one more time. Billion-dollar bank demand. So, again, who are these uh, banks controlled by? The so-called white men of today, Esau, Edom, okay? The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, the ones that are bringing forth the mischief on the earth, the vanity on the earth. To bring forth the new world order, the Novus Order Secorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, a one world government, a one world uh, military, and a one world religion. And that religion is you bowing down to uh, the beast system and their philosophies and following their ways, which is you would have uh, um, something that's physical embedded inside of you to be a part of their society, to control your buying and selling and what you do and what you say. And if you don't comply um, to their mandates, <clears throat> you will be called a dissident and put into these different FEMA camps. OK, where they have, um, you know, the um, public fire, you know, the firing squad, OK, where they have the, the, the smart guillotines and different types of apparatus for what uh, uh, torture. OK, but the, but the Lord also said in Wisdom of Psalm 3 and 1 that that um, his servant shall fear no torture or no torment. OK, because what going into the fear of the Lord and that's what the, le the lesson is going to be centered around the fear of the Lord. So let's read this again. This is Ecclesiastes 40 and 26. Riches and strength lift up thy heart. Yeah, so riches and strength lift up thy heart. Strength also goes into what? Your power. The power that you that you have, but it's actually from, from the Lord. The Lord is the one that gives you, you know, raises up one and brings down another. Okay, it gives you, um, you know, your certain skill, whatever that your skill may be, okay, in life. Okay, he gives you that skill, just like he gave us this gift to be able to what? Prophesy. Okay, to be able to push this word in truth and sincerity, and this is a, a true, um, you know, a honor, you know, to be a part of this, you know, part of this duty, you know, part of the profession. Okay, quick scripture. This is Sirach eleven. And uh, fourteen. Yeah. Uh, Sirach 11 and 14 Prosperity and adversity, life and death Poverty and riches come of the Lord Wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the law Of the of, of the Lord Love and the way of good works are from him Okay They're from they're straight from Yahab Hashem Hashai. So if you have this understanding Okay, that's that's a gift from a pie Ephesians 2 and 8 It's not because you were smart Or, um, you know, because you're, you know you, you like to read a lot of books. It's, that's not the reason. It's because Yahab Hashem Rashai is giving you a gift. So let's read this again. Sirach 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity. So all the, the things that are uh, put upon us through the curses uh, because we went off falling after false gods and false idols. So we have to go through adversity. We have to be tried like gold in a fire. Okay. It says life and death. So when someone gets killed, like the, for instance, the guy um, over there in Mississippi, where he got decapitated, okay, that was the Lord sending forth his judgment. And anybody that disagrees with that or or um, is against that is against Yahab Bashem Hashai, okay? Poverty and riches, so any, you see anybody that lives in the ghettos, vadios, or is homeless, that's the Lord did that. Come with the Lord. With, or if you see anybody that's rich like Esau, Edom, far as rich in carnality, rich in this world, because their true riches is nothing but uh, for the destruction. This is Sirach 19. Any riches or any wisdom they have gotten is ultimately for the destruction. It says, um, yep, Sirach 19 and 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Okay? So, you know, when you have these certain, you know, scientists or these different doctors, okay, that, that you put in play, you know, like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or, um, you know, Bill Gates that are that are put in our face as far as these cult of personalities, people see them as, you know, they're they're so smart. But uh, but actually they were given uh, the riches of this. They were given the riches of this world. OK, they have a thing called an inheritance that they were given from their parents. OK, you know, and which goes into, um, you know, Psalm 17. They shall give their, you know, uh, their inheritance to their babes, roughly paraphrasing. And what do they give? They give forth wickedness. They give forth their wicked 
uh, deeds to bring forth on the earth. Like, for instance, the brain implant that was passed by the FDA uh, yesterday to do human trials. Okay. That wisdom is ultimately for um, a trap and a snare for Esau Edom. Because once he implements that, um, you know, a seat to the hip, that, that mark, you know, physically uh, around the four corners of the earth in an ointment and sense, that's going to be the end of Esau Edom's rulership. Going into the hour of temptation where the Lord's going to intervene for his very elect, those that fear the Lord, those that, yeah, those that fear the Lord, okay? Those that are not trusted in uncertain riches. So let's go back to that. Sirach 40 and 26, it says, riches and strength lift up thy heart. So heart goes into the Hebrew word, lahab, which is your mind. So it lifts up your mind and gives forth what pride. That's why Esau Edom is going to be uh, thrown down because of his pride of his heart. Have deceived thee that dwell in the clefts of the rocks. Okay, which is which is Esau Edom's inheritance, you know, um, Slakim. Well, inheritance, um, you know, because he was, you know, um, given that land, but also, um, you know, going into his rulership. Okay, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. So the fear of the Lord is above them both. So above what money, gold, you know, silver. Okay, above, you know, having a great sword. Okay, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. And that's what the hopeful elect would have in this time. Fear of Yahweh Shema Hashai. There is no want in the fear of the Lord and he that needeth not to seek help. So there's not going to be any wants in that day. Far as the Lord's going to provide for the very elect when they when they um, shall need it, just like right now um, in the latter days, we need Yahweh Shema Shai to be able to have stability, and He has woken us up by giving us what the servants, the prophets, to be able to give us the understanding. Okay, that that the Lord will quicken our spirit through the teachings of the prophets, which the number one prophet is Yahweh Shai, and that's how we're able to be preserved is through the prophets because they have the they are the mouthpiece of the Lord, they are the message of the Lord. Okay, group three, and only if it's sung correctly, okay, because you have people that are off tone, okay, but the elect shall what, hear the, um, you know, Dan, uh, it's like in John 10 and 27, my sheep shall hear my voice, okay, and none shall be able to pluck them out of my hands, roughly paraphrasing that, this is Baruch 3 and a 7, and it says, and for this cause thou hast put the fear in thy hearts, okay, so the Lord, through you know, through the curses, through the adversity, has put the fear in our hearts to fear Yahweh Shema Shai and to know that any adversity that we go through is from the Lord. But also any, um, you know, grace period that we have, which we're under grace right now, that we have is through the Lord too. Okay, and for this cause thou hast put the fear in thy hearts, and that is a blessing. Okay, quick scripture, because I kind of keep going around it. Isaiah 36, 33 and six, and I want to go back to that. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And what time we were at? We're at the time where there's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, where the, the food and the water and the shelter are going to be cut off, okay? Where this word is going to be uh, persecuted, but blessed is he that is persecuted for thy namesake, okay? Where Esau Edom is going to be coming in like a flood because he knows that he has a, uh, but a short time. And that's the wisdom, okay? To be able to know what your enemy is doing. The knowledge is what these scriptures Okay, the stability, when you go into the word stability, it goes into the word aman, okay, um, which means, um, amo, saki, amawan, which means faith, okay, which we're going to need faith, and how does faith happen? Through Yahabah Shemashah, Shai restoring faith back in us, okay, bringing us back to remembrance um, of who we are, which are the Hebrew Israelites, and what time we're in, where, where there's going to be a time of great trouble, okay, it says, and strength of salvation. And who is our salvation? Yahweh Shai. That is our strength. Okay. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So the fear to fear the Lord is a, is a, is a great treasure. Okay. Because a lot of people, they fear what Esau Edom can do. They fear what, what, what man can do to them, but not what the Lord can actually do. Because the Lord is the one that brings forth what the issues of death. Okay. Upon you. So let's read this one more time. Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So it is a treasure to what fear the Lord. Okay. Going back to Baruch 3. And uh, Slakia. What was that? 7. Baruch 3 and 7.
Yeah. Room three and seven. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in thy hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all thy iniquity of thy forefathers that sinned before thee. And we are our forefathers back in the reincarnation because the Lord said that he would come in the um, Exodus 20. He would come back in the third, fourth generation for those that hate him. Okay, but also he would raise up the ones that, that would love him, which would be the very elect. Okay, and he would put fear in the, in the elect's heart to be able to um, fear Yahweh Shem Shai. And that would be the stability that they, that would be able to um, give him that treasure, which is what? The wisdom to be able to endure to the end. Okay, let's read this one more time. Baruch 3 and 7. It says, and for this cause thou hast put thy fear in thy hearts. Fear in thy hearts goes into what's your mind. Okay. And when you put your heart is where your treasure will be, right? That's, um, let me get that scripture because it adds on to the lesson. This is Matthew 6 and 19, Matthew 6 and 19, 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So there will your mind be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore that eye be single, that whole body shall be full of light. Okay. Going into you, the light is what the truth, your focus on the truth. Uh, you're constantly uh, meditating, occupied in psalms and hums, okay, examining your if you're being being the truth or not, uh, accepting, um, you know, the suffering, the persecution, you know, uh, bearing that righteous anger from the Heavenly Father, okay, and accepting uh, the judgments that the Lord is putting upon the people because there's going to be great plagues on the earth and not going against the doctrine, okay, that's holding on to the treasure, which is what this word, which is sent from above, which is a straight up gift. Group three and seven, and for the cause thou hast put thy fear in thy hearts, okay, so the fear in your mind, okay, to have the understanding to, to, to know that this is life or death, okay, this is not a game, right, to the intent that we should call upon the name, so showing you how important the name would be, and when you go into Baruch 2 and 32, it speaks about Baruch 2 and 32, and thou shalt praise thee in the land of thy captivity and think upon thy name. And we're in captivity. We're not free. This is not Juneteenth, okay? This is where Esau, Edom has us under captivity. But we are free far as having the knowledge and understanding. We're free far as uh, spiritually, okay? And, um, you know, spiritually and mentally, we are free. But physically, we're still, uh, you know, in chains of darkness, okay? Far as um, our bodies, Okay, and we're waiting, we're waiting to be released, you know, con uh, you know, constantly watching on our, on our Lord, you know, uh, fretting not, you know, uh, you know, waiting patiently. Okay, not gathering up arms or, or trying to change the doctrine or trying to gather up all the nations, because this is not for all the nations. And even of Israel, those that are Hebrew Israelites are not of Israel. Okay, far as they're not of the elect. Okay, there is a chosen line of the Hebrew Israelites. And the Lord's only dealing with his elect, his hopeful elect. Okay. Brute 2 and 32. And thou shalt praise him in the land of the captivity and think upon thy name. So the Lord will give us the name. Back then they had the name. Okay. And now we have the name through what the spirit, through our elders giving us, uh, you know, the name. Okay. And we believed in that name because the Lord also said that he would what give us pastors of his own heart that shall give us knowledge and understanding. Okay. And the lamb... <clears throat> and, the, and the Lord also said that the, um, the stranger will they not follow. Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you pastors according to my heart. So again, according to according to the Lord's mind, okay, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Shall feed you with knowledge and understanding because the pastors are also known as the prophets. They're also known as associates, okay, going into the business and the profession of bringing forth um Yahweh, bringing forth Yahweh Shai ultimately, but bringing forth the doctrine of his father, Yahweh. Okay, which they're all on one accord. Let me read this one more time. Jeremiah three fifteen. I will give you pastors. So again, pastors, watch, you know, watchmen. Okay, um, you know, prophets, apostles. Okay, according to my heart, we shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So we know that with the Lord quicken our spirit, that we have the uh, the heart of Hamashiach. Let's get that. First Corinthians two. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. For who hath known the mind of Yahweh that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of a Mashiach. So when we have the mind of a Mashiach, is what? To, to um, you know, is that victory, okay? Mind set on, you know, suffering, uh, uh, sacrificing, and knowing that there's a great reward at the end, okay? But the what? 
1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of that power, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So uh, the natural man, which is the brute beast, the cardinal man, is going to engage in 501c3s, are going to engage in uh, um, false doctrine. Okay, they're going to engage in, you know, gathering up all the nation when the Lord is only coming for his very elect. Okay, um, the natural man is going to, um, you know, ride in on a horse because he, he believes that he's exalted himself to a status that's very high. Okay, the cardinal man is going to, yeah, the, the natural man is going to buck up against the true men of the Lord. They're going to buck up against the order because the Lord has sent forth the order, um, you know, starting with the head apostles at Great Millstone and the bishops and the men on down that follow the sound doctrine. And when you buck up against that, okay, it's one thing to defend the, the gospel, but this is not even defend the gospel. It's more about jealousy, okay, and envy, okay? And our Lord, Yahweh hasn't got his glory. So why would men get their glory here, okay? But the Lord has sent forth the order, okay? And there's nothing wrong with order. 1 Corinthians 15, the Lord said, I will store back with the first fruits and put them all in order. And that's what he's doing by what this word. Okay. And that goes into the quickening of the spirit, you know, having the understanding of that, not being that old, that old nigga being renewed in your mind. Because that old nigga wants to be carnal, wants to be the man on the block. I know I'm the best. I'm the best at everything. Just be happy to be what part of the congregation. Okay. To be to put in, put in the work. You know, John 6 and 16, humble, meek, and lowly. Okay, Yahweh Shai, I was just thinking, I was meditating on this. You know, um, Yahweh, Yahweh Shema Shai is known to us, right? Okay, but to the world, he's not known. Okay, so he's like an unknown man to, to what to the world. Okay, but look at how great he is as far as those that know him, <laughs> those that are friends of him, you know? So, you know, John 6 and 63, it is a spirit that quicken. The flesh that profit nothing. So the things of this world profit nothing. Okay. It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay. Going into stacking your treasures up in heaven. Okay. Where moth and um, dust can't get onto it. Where Esau, Edom can't touch it. Because, you know, like I showed that article, you know, about the, the banking, you know, freezing the accounts. You know, people trust in that, that bank account. Okay, people trust in the, their money under their mattress. People trust in the, the you know, a uh, uh, woman to take care of them, whatever it may be, how you get your money. Okay, but not knowing that it's actually from Yahabah Shemashai. And when that money is being thrown out the door, okay, the bank accounts are being frozen. What you going to do then? Okay, where's your treasure then? Where's your money then? Where's your cardinal, carnality? Because again, you're going to wish that you were spiritual. Okay, this is, uh, let me go back to that group three. Group three and seven, it says, and for this cause thou hast put the fear in thy hearts. Yeah, because those that, you know, think that they're going to be able to be okay, the Lord's going to choose their delusions. The brother had did a video about that. Um, you know, I just saw the title. And it just came to me right now. Isaiah 66 and four. I will also choose their delusions and I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and I chose that which I delighted not. So the Lord is is um is not delighted, and you riding in on a horse. The Lord is not delighted, and you being a, a cardinal with people going to people's spots and, and 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 causing um a division. Okay, the Lord wants you to what eat the uh, read the Bible, uh, get the understanding. Okay, eat the whole roll, get the understanding, and go out and teach. That's it, and wait on the Lord. Endure suffering like a good soldier. Okay? That's what he wants to do. He doesn't want you to have the best garment, you know, uh, to have the highest status. Okay? He just wants you to be meek and lowly. Okay? Isaiah 66 and 3. So the ones that choose to what? Engage in those 501c3 contracts. Uh, engage in Esau Edom's um, agenda. This is what's going to happen. Isaiah 66 and 4. I will also choose their delusions. I will bring their fears upon them because when I called and how, how is the Lord calling through what the servants, the prophets, when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear. Yeah, they did not hear the name. OK, they did not hear the prophecies that are happening. Revelation 13, 16, that something is physical. OK, but they did evil before my eyes. 
okay, and chose that which is I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh that it says, ye that tremble at this word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord Yahweh be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy and they shall be ashamed. And that's it right there. Okay, that's the rich right, that's the riches right there. Seeing the uh, persecution of our enemies, okay, starting with Esau, Edom, but also two thirds of our people. Okay, that's why the Lord said he shall laugh, at, you know, shall laugh in, in what the, on the day of calamity. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, that's in Job 5. Shall laugh in famine, okay? Because the Lord's going to provide those that um, believe, those that are, are are suffering right now, okay? Let me get this: Isaiah sixty six and five. Those that are defending the gospel in the correct way, those that are singing the song, the new song, um, you know, the correct way, okay? Isaiah sixty six and five. Hear the word, Yahweh, ye that tremble at this word, you brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said. Let the Lord Yahweh, so when it says uh, Lord in all capitals, that's the Heavenly Father Yahweh, be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy and and they shall be ashamed. So again, the ones that mocked and scoffed, they're going to be ashamed in that day. Okay. Baruch 3 and 7. Sorry, Baruch 3 and 7. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in thy hearts to the intent that we should call upon the name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Are we in captivity? Subject to payments. Uh, first hired, or no, last hired, first fired. Okay, um, we are the tail, not the head. Okay, our woman is, you know, our woman uh, don't respect us. Okay, uh, the list goes on and on uh, as far as Deuteronomy 28, the curses, right? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of thy fathers which departed from the Lord our power. And that's what happens. We departed from, from our Lord our power because with Yahweh we Shai, um, we are the Lord's portion. Okay, and even through the curses, we're the Lord's portion, but we got to come back to the Lord and, and be right, be repented, be renewed, be uh, transformed. Okay, uh, Baruch 3 and 9. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to the understand wisdom. Yeah, give ear to understand wisdom, but you have to be quickened with the knowledge and understanding. You have to be quickened with the wisdom to be able to hear it. Your eyes can't be um, slacky. Your ears uh, can't be blocked. Okay. And ultimately, that's the gift from the Lord if he's opened up your ears to hear and your eyes to see. This is Wisdom of Solomon 7. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7. Wherefore, this is wherefore I played, Sakya, wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon thy power and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Okay. I preferred her, which her means wisdom, right? Before scepters and thrones and estimated riches, nothing in comparison of her. Because if you have wisdom, you're going to have scepters and thrones. You're going to have everything because ultimately it's given by Yahweh Shemar Mashiach. Neither compared I unto her. Okay, again, her is a symbol to um, uh, wisdom. Okay, any precious stone because all gold in respect of her is as little sand and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. That's right. The wisdom, it never goes out. You can always be able to uh, survive, okay, through adversity, through through whatever whatever that's going on. Wisdom will always overcome, okay, because it's given from Yahweh Shema Shai, true wisdom, which is the understanding of these scriptures. It says, 11. All good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. Unnumerable riches. Because the things that we think about or brothers do videos about are innumerable. The things that the Lord has has presented has for us in the kingdom. Okay. It says, and I rejoice in them because the Lord created us. So he knows what we actually really like. So we don't even know what we like. You know, we, we think we like a certain thing, but the Lord really, really knows our, you know, um, the in and outs of us as far as how we were made, every everything that we actually really like. OK, there's certain things that brothers haven't even tried in this world. OK, that the Lord has for them, you know, just, you know, just came to my mind. Right. Twelve. And, and I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was my mother of them going into the mothers known as wisdom. OK, going into her. 
It says, I learned diligently. So how do you learn? You learn through the pastors that Yahweh Shem HaShai is presented forth. Okay, because of uh, scripture, because though the Lord give us the bread of adversity, this is uh, Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord, Yahweh Shai, give you the bread of adversity, so that the, the suffering, the things that you have to go through, okay, that's, that goes into bearing your cross, the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, okay, going to the washing of this word, okay, and being afflicted for what, uh, you know, for that namesake, right? Yet shall not let thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore, but that I shall see thy teachers. That's why you have uh, the true men of the Lord on the highways and the byways. Okay, doing these videos, you know, doing the street teachings. Okay, so so um, those that the Lord draws in to come to those camps can be able to see their teachers. Okay, and to be able to be that spectacle that the Lord wants um, to be uh, uh, seen on the street corners to what hear that new song, which is a beautiful, uh, sweet selling, sweet smelling Savior to the Lord. Okay, it says twenty one, and thy it says, and thy ears shall hear the word. Right. So here you hear this word. Right. Behold, these saying, this is the way walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So this is the way to go. OK. Which is what? Down that straight gate, which is a position of difficulty. OK. This is wisdom. And that's and wisdom is the what guides you and gives you stability, which is from up above. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 13. I learned diligently and, and do communicate her liberally, I do not hide her riches. Yeah, you're not supposed to hide wisdom in a napkin, okay? Um, you know, as far as the understanding of these scriptures, when you go on the highways and the byways, when you're doing the videos, okay? And wisdom to be able to know, uh, um, you know, when you're in this world, because not everybody's going to get the understanding. That's why it speaks about after the, um, you know, first, second, third time, you know, reject those, those bug outs because they're just not going to get it and it could create strife at the end of the day. OK, as far as, you know, the, the people because they want to be cardinal, you know, this world is cardinal. So they want the people in this world are cardinal. OK, and then when they don't get it, you know, because, again, you can't buy this truth. You can't um, you can't buy your way into the, into this group. OK, the, the hopeful elect. Right. We're praying that we're of that number. I don't want You have to be chosen from the foundation of the earth. OK, which, again, is a treasure. Fourteen. For she, which is wisdom, is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of thy most high. Them that use. So who are using that? The very hopeful elect. Become the friends of thy power, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Yeah, learning what? Learning these scriptures. A uh, study that show thyself and prove. Okay, but studying that show thyself and prove is all for nothing if you can't understand the prophecies. Okay, let's get that revelation. If you're, yeah, if you're um, a reprobate, you know, spiritually discerned, you know, blinded by the by the God of this world, blinded by money, blinded, blinded by riches, okay? Uh, Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is he that readeth and that hear the words of the prophecy, okay? Who's saying the words? The prophets, okay? Prophecy means to say before, and keep those which are written therein for the time is at hand. So the time is at hand to stop playing around, to what? Use wisdom, to be able to... Um, you know, spiritually discern the time that we're in because we're in a time of war right now, okay? We're not in a time of uh, uh, playing around. There's a, let me get the scripture, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time, to every purpose under the heaven, right? And what time are we in right now? It says a time to love, a time to hate, eight. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. OK, and we're not a time of, of peace and gathering up all the nations. We're in a time of war, a spiritual war. That's why the Lord has gathered what his spiritual army, that great army that's spoken about Ezekiel 37 and 10. OK, that when um, these heathen nations saw us standing upon our feet, Revelation 11, fear fell upon them. Why? Because we were coming back to the Lord. OK, and they would be pushing forth the energy um, of, of prophecy. OK, which would which would uh, fear, which would put. Fear in the very elect, but also uh, those that are not of the elect would 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 um, you know they would they wouldn't they wouldn't um, I want to say wouldn't like it, but they would they would they would uh, deny it. Okay, they would deny that power. They would deny this word. Okay, because they don't they don't they think that it's not going to happen. 
Okay, but the, the terrors of the Lord, we persuade persuade men. Second Corinthians five and eleven. It says, let me let me get up a little bit. Yeah. This is all faith, right? 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present in the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, we labor, we labor, putting in this work, right, that the Lord has given us. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear for the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things that are done in this body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, we persuade men, but we have made manifest unto our power, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, okay, going into being sincere, okay, that's why we would say, you know, in truth and sincerity, okay, as uh, far as that, you know, our teachers, right, Second Corinthians 5 and 11 in the NLT, because we understand our fearful responsibility to Yahweh Shai. We work hard to persuade others. Our power knows we are sincere, and I hope you know this too, okay? And that the sincere ones are going to be what put, giving you the 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 uh, the true skinny, the, the the truth, okay? They would have the spirit. Slaki, Hebrews, because the Lord has always presented His prophets, uh, Hebrews one and one in the NLT. Long ago, our power spoke many times in the ways. In many ways to our ancestors through our prophets. And now in these final days, he has spoken to us through his son, Yahweh Shai, that power promised everything to the son as inheritance. And through the son, he created the universe. The son radiates, okay, power's own glory and expresses the very character of our power. He sustains everything by the mighty power of his command. When he had cleansed us from our sins, he sat down on the place of the honor at the right hand of the majestic power in heaven. Okay, going into the Lord suffered uh, for, for um, you know, came back and put Israel on his back, you know, made the word flesh. And through those sufferings, the Lord is sitting on the right hand side. Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, where he's going to be at a certain point in time, which we're, we're you know, uh, near to that time where he's going to come and, and take down all rule and authority. Okay, all these kings and, and, and um, uh, kings of this world are going to be destroyed. Okay. But also there would be this word that would be presented throughout the four corners of the earth and the elect would be sealed before that would happen. Okay. And they would be what purged of their sins. And they would call upon the Lord because they have the wisdom. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 14, which is that treasure. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 14. For she is a treasure unto men that never fail it, which they that use become the friends of that power being commanded for the gifts that come from learning. Our power had granted me to speak as I would and to conceive as it meet for the things that are given to me, because it, he is that leadeth unto wisdom and direct the wise. For in the hand are both we are the words. It says, for in his hand are both we and our words, all wisdom also and knowledge of his workmanship. Okay. And when you go into the Lord's workmanship, that's also in Ephesians 2 and 8 in the NLT. It's actually two and nine, I believe. Yep. It says Ephesians two and ten. For we it says, for we are his workmanship created. Let me let me get eight. It says Ephesians two and eight. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of thy power. Yahweh Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are in and that goes right back to um Sirach forty and uh, twenty six. Okay, going into, you know, your, your strength or, you know, you got strength in numbers or, or you're rich, whatever it is. Okay, that's why you're not supposed to boast. It says, not of your works, lest any man should boast, right? For we are his workmanship created in Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, unto thy power works, which power had before ordained that we should walk in them. So we're supposed to be walking in the, with the ways of the Lord. Okay, because we have the mind of Amashiach and that's the way we're walking and that's the way we're talking far as calling upon the names and the ancient Hebrew, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability. And what um, condemning this place, okay? 
10 in the NLT. For we are power's masterpiece. He has created us anew in a mashiach. Yaharashai going into um, the Lord renewing us through this word. Okay. For we are that power's masterpiece going into the word workmanship. He has created us anew in a mashiach. Yaharashai. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And what are those do th good things? Okay. To be rulers on the earth. A royal priesthood. Okay. And that's all through the wisdom that's coming through <clears throat> the power of Yahweh Shema Hashai. Okay, all through what the fear that the Lord has uh, put inside of us as far as the understanding to fear him and not to fear what man can do. This is Ecclesiastics 1, and this whole chapter is fire. Ecclesiastics 1 and 18. It says, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom. Okay, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Both which are the gifts of thy power and enlarge the rejoicing that love him. And who are the ones that love him? The ones that are out on the highways and the byways pushing forth this word. And the believers that are believing in this word, not mocking and scoffing and praying to the Lord and trusting in the Lord. That if they, um, you know, seek him while he, while he may be found, that, they, that the Lord will have salvation uh, for them. Okay. Believing. Ecclesiastes 1 and 19. It says, wisdom reigneth down, skill and knowledge of understanding standed and exalt them to honor that hold her fast. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord and the branches thereof are long life. That's right. Long life. Okay. When we're trying to be uh, a tazamak means what branch in the Hebrew. Okay. Branch of what? Yasha Allah. Okay. A tazamak Yasha Allah, which means branch of Yasha Allah. Okay. Which is what that vine of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Because without that vine... Without being part of that branch, and I'll just get the scripture for that. This is uh, Salakia. That's, uh, I think that's John 15. John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Okay? What, Yahrashai is what, that that uh, vine. Okay? And what the father is what the husbandman that planted with that vine, which is Yahrashai. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Okay, you, do, you didn't do the works, you were lukewarm. Every branch that bear fruit, he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Okay, going away, purging away the sins. Okay, doing the work. Now you are clean through the word, which the word is Yahweh Shai, which is a, a commandment a, a, with the word Dabar, okay, a mandate, which I have spoken unto you, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can it except it abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So you can't do nothing without Yahweh Shai. Okay? You can't do nothing without Yahweh Shai. Right? And the Lord Yahweh Shai is bringing forth the riches on this earth. Uh, far as the, um, you know, far as not the, well, yeah, the riches, you know, the riches on this earth, but also the riches in heaven. Okay, which is what true righteousness um, and understanding that, um, they, you know, the things of this world are going to be destroyed. Okay, let me just get the scripture. Proverbs 11 and 3, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgression shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but the righteousness deliver them from death. And that's what we're trying to be delivered from is what Esau eat them. Okay, and that goes into the spiritual discernment and the fear of the Lord. Okay, fearing the Lord is a treasure. This is Hosea 14 and 9. Who is wise and shall understand these things? Prudent, prudent goes into understanding the judgment and shall know them for the ways of Yahweh are right and the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall the rent. So the transgressors, the ones that don't want to hearken, are going to fall in the traps and the snares that the Lord has presented for uh, the two thirds. While the elect is going to be able to... Um, be accounted worthy in the day of judgment, you know, worthy of what, um, it's like the worthy of what deliverance. This is, um, so I ended right here. This is Sirach 40. And I just, you know, I had some different, I had all different where I was going to go, but I just went in the spirit. You know, Lord, when it was edifying, this is, uh, Sirach 40 and 26. Sirach so 40 and 26, it says, Riches and strength lift up thy heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and it needeth not to seek help. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden, and cover him above all glory. So with that, 
Kohala Yehovah Hashem Yerushai Ba Hashem Rakakwadash Shalom to the Let Kwam Yashallah.